guys welcome back to us military team today i'm going to discuss about plantar fasciitis a uh, very important topic for us military examination from a step 1 to step 3 um try spending some time like 4 uh, to 5 minutes with me uh, you will get more more and more information than reading alone on books okay uh so before starting this video i would like to tell i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel because your subscription will definitely help me and boost me to uh upload more and more videos okay and uh, thank you so much for those who have subscribed and thank you so much for watching my videos too okay without wasting much time let me start with this plant of fasciitis take a cup of coffee sit back and listen to my videos if you have any questions please 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 do let me know okay let me start with this oh it's not working okay the definition is the inflammation of the insertion of the plantar fascia on the medial process of the calcaneal tuberosity the pain may be substantial resulting in the alteration of the daily activities plantar fasciitis is the most common cause for heel pain remember the plantar fascia is a thick and fibrous aponeurosis that originates from medial tubercle of the calcaneus and runs forwards to insert into deep short transverse ligaments of the metatarsal heads dividing into five digital bands at the metatarsophalangeal joints and continuing forward to form a fibrous flexor sheath on the plantar aspect of the toes the biochemical dysfunction is the most common cause for this plantar fasciitis uh, this is the etiology but there are other etiology like infection neoplastic uh, arthritic neurological traumatic and other systemic infection condition can to cause it to okay how do they present right that's very important what we need to know in for us with examination how the presence patient present that's very important uh, if for a plantar fasciitis so it's a intense sharp pain with the first couple of steps in the morning or after other long periods without weight bearing pain is experienced primarily on the plantar surface of the foot at the anterior aspect of the calcaneus but it may radiate proximally in more severe cases a limp may be present and the patient may prefer to walk on their toes associated paresthesias nocturnal pain and systemic symptoms should raise suspicion of other cause of heel pains that is neoplastic infectious and neurological causes Initially the pain decreases with the ambulation and athletic warm up but then increases throughout the day as the activity increases in more severe cases patients complain of heel pain after a period of prolonged sitting that's very really important you need to remember okay before the onset of pain they had increased amount of amount or intensity of activity including but not limited to running or walking they may have also started exercising on a different type of surface or may have recently changed foot weights okay initially the pain decreases with the ambulation or athletic warm up but then increases throughout the throughout the day as the activity increases in most of the cases patient complain of heel pain after a period of prolonged sitting before the onset of pain they had increased amount of intensity in amount or intensity of, i think am i repeating i'm not sure okay of uh, activity including but not limited to running or walking they may also start exercising on a different type of surface or may have recently changed foot weight what you need to ask to the patient is most patients report that the patient usually is a most severe is more severe during the first few steps after prolonged inactivity such as sleeping or sitting patients may report that symptoms typically are relieved by unloading the affected foot via sitting elevation or other means patient may be worsened by walking barefoot on hard surfaces or by walking up stairs in athletes the pain may be particularly aggravated by sprinting patients who are generally on their feet all they reports that the symptoms may actually worsen by the end of the day okay the pain of the plantar fasciitis can usually be reproduced by the palpating the plantar medial calcaneal tubercle at the site of plantar fascial insertion to the heel bone laboratory tests 
studies are not needed in the work of a plant or physiatrist. So it's your clinical diagnosis that you have to do and treat it. However, laboratory may be used to investigate if you're suspecting any cause other than the plant or physiatrist like a soft tissue swelling, neoplasia, arthritis, then you can investigate for that. Otherwise, no need. Ultrasound may be useful in the following treatment response in the chronic cases. Treatment is a self-limited disease condition, so uh, you can uh, go, what do you call the other symptoms like icing, NSAIDs, rest and activity modification, corticosteroids, botulinum toxin type A, splinting, modification and orthosis can be used as a treatment for the patients with the plantar fasciitis. Okay guys. Okay guys, with this I think I am done with the video on uh, plantar fasciitis. I hope you like it. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, please do let me know so that I can help you. Thank you so much for watching my video.